I am here to present and uh, discuss what I know about this topic to all of you. Okay. So my topic is conjoint analysis. Now what is conjoint analysis? It is a survey based statistical technique used in market research that helps determine how people value to different attributes, functions and benefits and then make up an individual product or service. Right? Now I will tell you and discuss on these four topics. Now when to use conjoint analysis? When we have a product or service that consists of a combination of features. So as the, uh, I tell you, conjoint analysis is basically features of a product. So a hotel room offering is a combination of many features and attributes. Like it has cleanliness, it provides breakfast or not, it includes a balcony view or not, uh, it includes free Wi-Fi or not, and the cost. The cost should be very less uh, so that the people find it very... Um, yeah. So, uh, I have, uh, as I have discussed, conjoint analysis, Wi-Fi, breakfast, price, or not. I will come to this afterwards. Now, types of conjoint analysis. These are the several types of conjoint analysis. Choice-based, adaptive, self-explicated, and manual-based. Now, choice-based is the most common type of uh, conjoint analysis. Uh, as we use it in our daily life, yeah, we want this route to go to our college or we want a second route to go to our college or we want a sweatshirt or we want a hooded sweatshirt so it is the most common approach it has a, we have a discrete choices like we want to do this or do that we want this or something we have many choices of this. Now, adaptive choice based conjoint analysis can handle large features and it is a uh, it is basically based upon your previous selections like uh, if you buy something from Amazon, like if you buy a book from Amazon uh, and after some time, new book releases. So it gives uh, the, the choice or uh, it basically um, gives you a new selection uh, that do you want to buy this or it recommends a new book that this book is being new released. So do you want to buy this book? And same with the YouTube, if you are searching the old songs, so it will recommend some old songs extra for you. These both is a, comes under the adaptive choice based conjoint analysis. Now the third is self-explicated conjoint analysis. It is basically the <coughs> rating scale given to the um, people. Like uh, it is a direct questioning about features and levels. That how much amount of feature or uh, how much amount of uh, like yeah, let me give you an example. Uh, you go to the cafeteria, edge uh, block, in the fruit, fruit wala, to the fruit wala. You ask him, give me a 50 rupee plate with 10% uh, apples, 20% banana, 50% of pineapple, and some other fruits. So you are basically telling him that this amount, or this is amount uh, of uh, features I want in my plate, right? Fourth will be menu based conjoint analysis. Like uh, if you go to McDonald's, you can see menu for two, menu for four, right? So according to your needs and you can select uh, different features provided by them. Or uh, here it is an example, invent your own platter. So you can invent, I want this and this, then they will tell you the rate. That this is the rate for selecting your own menu, right? The basic example is you want uh, uh, it's phone plans, you want 1 GB per day, you want 2 GB per day, that like Geo is giving 1 GB per day and 2 GB per day with different rates. Now how it is conducted? It is conducted, is, uh, conducted in all these steps, like determine, determine the feature set to test, experimental design, survey programming, collection of responses and then analyzing all the responses we have collected. Same. The example I have discussed earlier of the hotel room. Experimental design. Now what do you understand by looking at this picture? We have various factors. Oven, sugar, floor, X. Right? And we have different levels. At what temperature do you set? How much amount of sugar do you use? How much amount of floor and X to make a cake? So we will have different taste, color, and consistency. If we ask uh, some persons 
or a group of persons. So we will have different responses and outcomes <coughs> with different characteristics. A survey program, looking at this picture, what do you, uh, which package do you select? Second. He said. Obviously, second one. Second As it's providing more number of amount of features with less rates. Less rates. That's why this is a survey. Now, what output do you get? We understand how important each feature is for a particular individual. Like somebody wants a car with AC and power steering and not other features required, not, no, they, uh, he don't require alloy wheels. But some other person requires luxury, comfortable seats, alloys, etc. So each and every feature is important. We understand how preferred the labels are within each feature. <coughs> As we have discussed in the first example of hotel room, you can see cleanliness level. 93% people want it extremely clean. You can see breakfast, 45% want buffet and 45% uh, needs room service. Balcony, 45% includes uh, wants to include great view. And for Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, obviously everybody wants free Wi-Fi. And cost is approx $179. So based on this data, we can do analysis and that analysis is called conjoint analysis based on various features. Question and answers? Yeah. You want me to let you tell it again, okay? So this is the first type, choice based. You come to college daily. Ah, oh, okay, sorry, you live in house. But if uh, somebody is coming from South Delhi, so there are two ways. One can come from directly from D and D, another uh, person. Uh, second way is uh, maybe different. So you have the choice. You want to come this way or you want to select the second way. There are many choices you do in daily life. This is exactly. Any other question, please? Like, as you have explained in one of your last slides, the output of the analysis. I can't be connected right now, I will explain it. <coughs>